obviously. All right, so I'm going to try to use a new app with you guys, Sketchbook Pro. It doesn't matter if you guys, you don't have to use this app. We can try um, using, um, you can stick to using Photoshop, that's for sure. So file, add image, just like Photoshop file place. What I'm doing right now is bringing my research work in uh, from a few days ago that we, we've all worked together. This is kind of cool, right? The minute you bring a picture and you get this little wheel here with a bunch of stuff on it, and I'm just like playing around right now and trying to get a sense of how this app works. It's kind of cool. Okay, and I'm going to click out, exit, and it's gone. So I brought a bunch of these visuals in. I'm going to click on here. Let's see if my hotkeys from Photoshop work. Ooh, don't know. Right. I'm just going to, okay, so that's done there. That's cool. I'm going to get out of this. And I think this is an arrow tool, select tool here, uh, crop tool, uh, possibly move tool. Okay, so, wow, that's a very interesting application. I'll leave it at that for now. Okay. So what I've noticed here, guys, is this. We, we, we basically did a research, right? And we're looking at all these pictures. Good eye. Look over here. That's it. So I'm looking at these, and I said to you guys before in all our projects that we're doing, we always start with research, and we have to bring the research into our plan. If you guys are creating a master bedroom, how is this going to influence us, these visuals? You guys did that with the product design. You did that with the steps tool. I'm happy. Now we got to do it in the floor plan. I'm not looking for you guys to copy floor plans, okay? But I'm looking for you guys to say, hey, Mr. Bellion, I looked at this. This is an interesting picture here, okay? And what is it about this picture that you guys like? So you get your pen tool out, marker tool, whatever you have there, and you start sketching a floor plan, right? No big deal. So the first thing you're going to say in this one for me, here's the things that I do like, okay, guys? Take a look at this. Right in here, there's a fireplace. Okay, there's some kind of a wet bar, so maybe there could be a fridge underneath here. There's this uh, wonderful space here, believe it or not. Let's see if there's a, can I make this thicker? Oh, yeah. It's a very intuitive software, by the way. So we got a wet bar here. We have a fireplace, beautiful wall over here, looking good. And notice the amount of space you have right here that's in front of the bed. So that says to me, as a master bedroom, we're onto something, right? And what's really exciting for me is that you have an, out, an additional seating area. Most of you guys may, you want a gaming area, you want a video watching, whatever you want, you design, okay? Also, beyond this, there's a balcony, okay? So I'm liking these elements. So for me right now, if I just kind of make a rough sketch of what's going on here, here's what I have. This is the room. I have a seating room here whatever that is, uh, and then I have a balcony. That's, this is basically how this room is going, okay? But it's huge in size, and it kicks in, works in with the 30 by 34 that we have, okay? So let's move on to the next one here. If I slide over here and look at this one, what's interesting about this? Same thing. Notice where the bed is, guys. It's in here, right? Here's my bed, okay? Right in here in perspective, looking fantastic. A beautiful seating area again. And I'm noticing here's where the wall kicks in. So there's an extra amount of space. So once you guys think about this, go, okay, I have a bed. I have a seating area. Great. Okay, that's cool. What's happening on this side? Well, clearly this one here has that bathroom. Okay? I can't answer the phone right now. Sorry. You mind answering? Say. Okay, so we have the bathroom here. So in this situation, we have the bedroom. Huge bathroom over here. Thank you for taking that for us, Lance. All right. So this relationship is kind of interesting. Notice, guys, right now the question mark is where's your, what are we missing from this? Any ideas? Come on. What is it? Closet, absolutely. His and hers, right? So if this is all your area, this is the relationship of the bathroom. Now the question is closet area, okay? So in this situation, we don't know where that is. So you guys have to decide where that could be. And did we say we're going to do his and hers? His as big as hers? <laughs> uh, it's up to you, okay? So check this out. Maybe half. This will be double, right? So you decide how this is, all right? So that's cool. We'll, we'll slide on down. This one here, the second grade 10 class in the afternoon. Love this one. I do too because of these things. Check it out. How cool is this, right? These guys have windows. The same idea. Bunch of picture frames. Inside the wall, you have bookshelves. I think this is very cool. Again, guys, notice that here's the bed area, okay? 
Nice back wall to it, just like the one in Archicad I did over there for you guys. But look at the amount of space going this way. Look at that. That's a huge amount of space. I'm assuming there's a bunch of cabinets here or closets. Again, I have no idea. Right now, it's just visual. But proportionally, this room to me looks like this. Here's where the bed is, and all this is yours. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to slide over on this side at this point, and I'm going to analyze this one. Now, there's some cool stuff in here, okay? I told you what one of my favorite things on this is here. This, to me, is fantastic. This, potentially, for you guys, could be a two-sided fireplace, right? And we have that uh, library part in Archicad and in Revit, too, so it's not a big deal. So check this out. Here it is. This could be a fireplace right now here. And here's your bed area. Here's the lounge. Okay, I'm going to call it lounge now instead of seating area. And then somewhere on this side, possibly going this way, is your closet, walk-in, you know, his and her space. Okay? So if we... If, we look at this right now, and this is what I'd like you guys to do. I don't want you guys to start doing what you did with your uh, drawing with your bedroom. Like, if you start doing this to me right now and say, you know what, here's my entrance, here's my door, here's this, here's my bed. The minute you start using these, this kind of system, you're limiting yourself. So what I want to do is say, you know what, this is great, guys, but we're not quite there yet. So what I prefer you guys do for now is to come in here. Let me just uh, reduce the thickness on this. And there we go. This way, press save. And I'd rather you guys go, okay, you know what? This is one space right here. Proportionally, this is my main sleeping area, okay? So sleeping right here. Now, you guys want an adjoining room? Guess what? Here you go. Make another one. Okay, I'm going to call this lounge. You guys could be a game room, whatever you want. You want a bathroom, master bath, and we said this in class that Okay, we'll go master, bath, okay, and then we'll do this closet business. I don't know. Okay, so this is one layout right here. Somebody will say, you know what, I also want a balcony, Mr. Ballion. I'm doing this. Okay, no problem. So this is one layout based on what I've looked at. Later on, you'll go into details. For me, initially, I'd like to see three, cons three sketches from you, okay? Three sketches, okay, of this. So you can just... Take color in Photoshop. You can say this is my blue zone, red zone, white zone, whatever, and start moving these around. This is layout one. You give me three layouts. Once we go through the three layouts, we'll take the best elements from the three, make it into one. Once we selected the one, and now you say this is my sleeping area, guess what? Now at this point, you're going to have to put furniture down roughly. Then you're going to find out that, you know what? I need space on both sides. Okay? What is that going to look like? So we start popping furniture in. Do I have my fireplace here? I don't know. Right? You start going like that. Fireplace. Okay, I get what that is. And I know that above this, some of you are going to put your TV. So guess what? You sketch TV. Okay? So from here, the question for me would be, which way are you coming into this bedroom, guys? Where are you coming in from at this point? No, it's up to you. It is, you, don't, you know what I mean? This is hypothetical. You decide. If you come in the same wall as the fireplace, you just made your accent wall smaller. Do you know what I mean? So I may say, no, I think I want to come in from here because I want this wall to be my accent wall. Okay, I want the materials to be interesting, right? So be, we'll get to that. So for now, what I want you guys to do for the next 15, 20 minutes, make three of these, okay? Really fast and quick. We're good? Let's do it. Let's do this.